what's up guys welcome to my youtube channel so if you are new to my channel i welcome you to my youtube channel if you are a not subscriber also welcome you back to my youtube channel it's still your guy Xander. so in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can easily convert your website into an android editing app using an android studio so i made a first video on how you can be able to achieve or to use to make use of a website so if you want to get access to that video easily click on the link above this video right now or you check the description for you to be able to know how you can convert your website to an app using a website so but in this method we are going to be using an android studio for that which is a software so i'm going to be converting this my portfolio into an android app so using this step So now the first step you need to do first you need to have an android studio app installed on your system your laptop or server device that you are using so once you have android studio installed on your system then you just need to launch that android studio so now i'm now launching my own so let's wait for a bit so once it's launched you just need to create a new project you just need to click on this project then you add no activities so select no activities project then you click on next so in this side now you just need to um select you know me let me just say input your app name so i'm just going to be using this um this is my app name then after importing your app name the thing you need to do next is to select this language this is java select java as your language then once you have select java as your language you just need to click on finish so now with this now they are going to be loading the dependency of this app so you just need to wait for it to load so once it's done um, loading we just need to do some little configuration on this so let's wait a little bit so now once it's done loading we just need to go and uh, set the activities so i'm just going to um, be using empty activities use so i'm just going to be using empty activities then select it and once you select it make sure that you check this launcher activities to check it then you click on finish so once we click on finish now you are going to be noticing that we have two files automatically so they are giving us two files automatically one is the main activities then the other one is the class file so once we have these two files now and the, these main activities we are going to be importing some web view on it but i'm just going to be Doing some changes on the team so i'm just going to be going to the team section so that i can remove the action bar so this is not necessary but in my own case i just need i don't have the use of it so i'm just going to be removing it so by doing that you just need to locate the file then we still remove this um action bar to no action bar so just move that dark action bar to no action bar so just change it then we also come down we are going to be doing the same thing just color on primary then that is how we are going to be setting it so once you are done we're also going to be doing that to the second file which is the dark theme so we are going to be doing the same thing to that um dark theme we are going to be selecting um no action bar and also color on primary that is it Right, so once you are done setting it you just need to save changes you just need to control s then you um, save it so once you save it then you close it then we need to go to our main activities folder so so that we can be able to import our web view so this is the main activities folder you click on the search icon search for web then you drag and drop this um this file into the web view then now we need to set this um this to zero just do this to all all the um, buttons there just set all of them to zero so once we are done now we just need to change the height and width to match parent so we are going to be this android id so we are going to be changing this to match parents you also do it apply same thing to the 
um, height and width section. So I'll just match parent to match parent. Then after that, we are going to be creating a new Android ID and we are going to be naming that my web. So this allows us to create a dependency on the, um, the mirror folder. By doing that, you just need to um, add just Android ID. The pop-up is going to be coming there. So you just need to Android ID. Then you give it a name, my web. So you can give it any name you want, but I'm just giving it my web. So you just know that the name you give is that is the name you are going to be importing on the mirror folder. So once we are done, we need to go to the mirror folder. Then we need to import this, um, this action there. So by doing that, you just need to um, import it. I'm just going to be saying um, my web okay I'm just good to, I'm just going to be using web view then um, my web on it. All right so now we need to add more four lines of code so, let me just control paste this code here. So I'm going to be dropping this code in the description also. So if you look at um this downside now, you need first you just need to import everything, make sure that the dependency is imported correctly. So if you look at this URL, this is the load the URL that you want to load. So you want is to open whenever they click on the app. So you just need to input your own URL there. Then we need to come to this Android manifest, then we need to allow internet access permission so user internet access permission this allow user to access our app whenever they are using internet connection so you just need to um input just a simple line of code here so just just do as i input it here so you don't you are going to be seeing user permission and you just tap on it and internet access so this is it here now you tap on it then let's easily close this tab sorry for that so let's just easily close the tab. All right, so once you are done now, all we just need to do, we just need to save changes. So we are done coding and all that. So now let me launch my Android emulator so that we can be able to test this app. So let me just select my device. Let me run the app. Then let me select my device. Just take note that this is Android Studio. So I'm running it on a virtual Android app. So let me just um, select my device I want this to, to run on. Okay, let me just play it. So this is going to take some time. So you just need to be patient because of first this is going to install the app on this Android device. Then after that, it's now going to launch the Android app so that you can be able to test whatsoever coding that you have done. So if you look at this side now, the app has been installed successful and the app is already launching which is nice and cool. So you can see the icon is green. So check the next video. Yeah, we are, we are going to be treating on that later. So now um, let's, um, let's just launch this app. Uh, the app is loading, the app is loading. You can see very nice and easy. So this is the app here. So we are done coding and doing all that. So if you want to just um, get the Android file, you just need to do, you just need to um, click on build app, then you are good to go. It's going to be, um, giving you the Android file. So if you find this video useful, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notification so that anytime I use a new video like this, I'm going to get notification for that. So see you in my next video, guys.